love and blessings to everybody watching. My name is Chandon. I'm from Healing Origins. I practice healing with medicinal plants and nutrition. Now, currently, we are finding ourselves in the midst of a viral threat. And many of us are taking precaution, we're preparing, and the way we're doing it is by supplementing ourselves with vitamins and minerals. However, when we go right now to the pharmacy, to the health stores, we're, we're finding out that they've run out of vitamins and mineral supplements. I want to show you how blessed we really are in this time of what appears to be scarcity. There is actually abundance all around us, especially of vitamins and minerals, and I'm going to show you that right now. Now, did you know that the guava leaf is high in vitamin C and vitamin A? It also has minerals such as calcium, phosphorus, it also has iron and magnesium. Now, I wanted to share a study with you from 2003 in Brazil. What they did is they took subjects and gave them infusion of guava leaves for 12 weeks straight. And what they reported was that they noted a decrease of 9% in cholesterol, a decrease of eight points in blood pressure, and a decrease of 8% in triglycerides. And it also strengthened the heart. Now this was done without any diet change. So imagine the outcome if you switched to a healthy diet and included this in your daily regimen. Not only that, but guava leaf is also known and reported to kill bad bacteria, fungus, amoebas, and yeast. So that's one of the blessings that we have in abundance here in Belize. And this is sour sap leaves. Now some reports are saying that the sour sap leaves are twice as potent as the actual fruit. But this is not to discourage anybody from eating the fruit uh, because the fruit is highly nutritious, tons of vitamins, a lot of minerals, and it is super delicious, one of my favorites. Now, the sour sap leaves are high in vitamin C as well as minerals. But one of the best things about sour sap leaf is what the studies have been saying in terms of anti-cancer. Did you know that sour sap leaves is 10,000 times stronger against cancer than chemotherapy? 10,000 times stronger. Now, and the best part is that sour sap leaf does not affect our healthy cells, unlike chemotherapy. Now, in, since 1976, the National Cancer Institution, they reported that under clinical studies, sour sap leaves and sour sap stems proved to be toxic against all cancer cells or almost all cancer cells. Now, in 1998, there was four different studies published which further detailed the anti-cancer, anti-tumorous, and antiviral properties which sour sap leaf had. In Taiwan, 2003, they also reported the toxic effect against ovarian, uh, bladder, cervical, and skin cancer. That's how powerful this leaf is against that toxic cancer. Now, what else has it been used for? It's been actually used traditionally for back pain. It's been used to, to help the body heal and recover faster. It's been used to boost the immune system, boost our defenses. And uh, not only that, it's been used to stabilize blood sugar glucose. So this here is a wonder plant as well, a beautiful healing plant. And thank goodness that we have it in such abundance here in Belize. This is chaya, edible green leaf which is best to cook before you eat. Now in 2018, the American Journal of Food Science and Nutritional Research reported that chaya has a high level of nutritional value. It also has essential amino acids, vitamins, and minerals. It has 20 phytochemical properties with their own therapeutic activities. Chaya has vitamin C, it has vitamin A, it has iron, and a lot of protein. Chai is abundant here in Belize and you can find it all over. Include this in your diet and you're including a lot of health and a lot of biomaterial. That is the abundance and wealth which we have inherited here in Belize. Papaya, the fruit, super nutritious, high in vitamins and minerals, and it's super delicious. However, papaya leaf, which you can find year round, also contains its own medicinal qualities. It is high in vitamin C, it has vitamin B, K, 
K and A. How can you prepare papaya leaf? Well, you can take the fresh leaves, blend it with water and drink it twice a day. Or you can dry the leaves and turn it into a tea and drink it twice a day. How can papaya leaf help us? Well, it can help us not only with dengue fever and malaria, but you see when we get cut and we bleed, now the body actually clots the bleeding so that we don't bleed profusely and it uses platelets. Papaya leaf increases platelet counts in our body, meaning that papaya leaf can help us heal much faster. Papaya leaf can also help us with digestive disorders such as irritable bowel syndrome, bloating, constipation, and other digestive issues. Papaya leaves is a strong anti-inflammatory and it helps and maintains digestive tract physiology. Under clinical research, papaya leaves have been demonstrated to lower blood glucose levels. It is also used to treat metabolic disorders such as obesity, high blood pressure, and insulin resistance. This plant right here is super powerful. It can help us in many, many ways. So if we have eyes to see and mind to think, we can realize one thing, that in the man-made world, scarcity will be there. However, when it comes to vitamins and minerals, the natural world is abundant with it. And papaya leaf is another one of those blessings.